Some of you are scared, aren't you? <laughs> Good evening, and before I start, I've got to say that Lee didn't want me to make him speech. Not even a little one. He was quite fearful that I'd get too dramatic, turn it into kind of an Oscar acceptance weasel speech. I'd get really drunk and insult everybody. But I told him after 12 years, he's got to have some faith in me, a little bit of trust, and you know, I'll get on with it and everything will be fine. Um, so, with that said, now that I have your full attention, I shall begin, and I shall treat you all with the contempt and respect I feel we deserve. <laughs> I've been told on occasions such as this, there's a specific hierarchy and order that guests are to be welcomed and acknowledged within the venue. So with that said, welcome to all our distinguished guests, guests of no particular distinction, <laughs> relatives young and old, Friends, <laughs> hangers on, members of the London Ambulance Service, gypsies, trams, thieves, the rats behind recycling bins out back, and employees of the Metropolitan Police Service. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Um, it, and, and I must uh, you know, reiterate what Lee said. It's really great to see so many of our friends and family here to celebrate Lee's happiest day. <laughs> <laughs> We've impressed the number by the number of people that came around to help us in preparation for today. And we do have a few thank yous. There's a bit of a list. So if you're not mentioned by name, it's probably because you didn't lift a finger. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, firstly, Katie and Steph, our really good friends, have been our ceremony witnesses last week. Uh, the gorgeous Maria for preparing such wonderful food and the uh, gorgeous husband Dave for helping up. Uh, the lovely Margaret for creating such a fantastic wedding cake, and Tony for her guest book management, Mikey for his mathematical skills and the hall decorating. Um, again, thanks to Maria, Steph and Kaylee for helping with the decorations, and also to Claire for turning up, uh, almost just got in the way, drank some tea and complained that the knickers were rubbing. <laughs> um, also, thank you someone in advance for the inevitable character assassination to come to our mate Simon and Steph, our best persons. Um, two people that are known for fights of plants and pretty much making things up as they go along, so just bear with them. Um, and in case you were wondering, we did obtain our something borrowed, our something blue, our something new, but we were stuck with something old. But then I remembered that Arnie Val was going to show up, so job done. <laughs> um, we would like to thank our mums <laughs> for being gone and shit. Um, uh, we want to thank our mums for always being on bed. Uh, Pat and Margaret, um, they were there with their wise words, tons of support, and the cheese and pickle sandwiches on demand. Um, and one last thing before I hand over to the best people, Leon, and I would just like to acknowledge a few people who are not here tonight. Um, right, I'm going to lose it. Um, our friend Richard, um, he's got a bit of an epic battle on his hands at the moment, but he's fighting the good fight. Um, so we just wish him well and um, just want to tell him, you know, get well soon, it's time for a beer. And we'll finally send our love to two very special people who are not here, our dads, Patrick and Larry. We think of them all the time. And we miss them a lot on occasions such as this. <laughs> it just leaves me to say again a big thank you to one and all. A Merry Christmas to nearly everybody. And thank you for giving me this award. You've made me very happy. <laughs>